case of the arms are quite easy so you start with six single crochets into the magic ring i already did that so in the second row we are going to increase each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches so we'll increase the first stitch okay increase also the next stitch okay and you keep increasing in all the remaining stitches until the end okay so after you're done with that uh, that's quite it so for the next 15 rows which is from row 3 until row 17 you're going to do single crochet in every stitch in each row for a total of 12 stitches in each row okay so do 15 rows of single crochets and then i'll see you when you're done with the 17th row so that we do the 18th row together okay so after the 17th row this is how your arm should look like so now we are going to finish up the 18th row and we are going to decrease all the way around for a total of six stitches so we we'll decrease and we'll keep decreasing until the end Okay, and then after that I'm just going to go into the next stitch slip stitch and cut my yarn long enough for sewing okay so I'm not going to stuff my hands better for them to remain flat like that okay so now let's make the leg okay so now for the legs also we are going to start with six single crochets into the magic ring and then in the second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll increase the next stitch and keep increasing all the stitches around okay and increase all the remaining stitches okay so now after you're done with that now from the next row which is the third row until the 19th row uh, which is a total of 17 rows you're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of uh, 12 stitches in each row okay so do 17 rows or single crochet and then i'll see when you're done with the 19th row so that we do the 20th row together Okay, so when you're done with the 19th row, this is how our leg should look like. So now for the 20th row, just like the arm, we are going to decrease all the way around for a total of 6 stitches. Okay, so we're going to decrease. And then we'll continue decreasing. And decrease. decrease okay and then when you get to the end we are going to slip stitch and cut off our yarn long enough for sewing okay so my legs too, I'm not going to stuff them, I'm going to uh, keep them flat. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make the eye patch. Okay, so the eye patch is quite easy, so we're going to use the dark brown yarn. And all you do is make a chain 6. So we're going to do chain 1, make sure it's loose enough to three four five and six and then uh, starting from the second chain from the hook you're going to do double crochet in the remaining five stitches ok 
Okay, so we're going to do double crochet. And double crochet in the next stitch too. Double crochet. Okay. And double crochet in the last stitch. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to go here at the very end, slip stitch. And cut off my yarn like that. Okay, and that's our little eye patch. So you make two, make another one, same as this one. Okay, so as you can see, guys, I've already finished of joining all my parts together. So what I did first is I joined the head uh, to the body, as you can see, and then uh, with my eyes here, I attach them. I just adjust them to the north and then over here on the upper side as you can see then I embroidered the little nose over here and the mouth and then you have to make sure at uh, the legs and the arms you attach them on directly below this white line like they should be on the same line as you can see and same case on this one, the white line and the arms should be in line together, as you can see. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so if you have any questions about attaching uh, the parts together, you can just ask in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, ask in the comments below. And please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Until next time, bye.